Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome to a brand new vlog today. We're taking planes, trains, automobiles, everywhere you can go. We are going to Sligo. I did not mean to rhyme that, but uh, yeah. I'm going to Ireland for the second leg of the Conference League after last week's disappointment, 1-0 down. But I'm not going in expectation today, I'm going in hope more than anything. So anyway, without any further ado, let's go into a travel montage. <laughs> morning after the day before in which we had an absolute clusterfuck of travelling. Our Ryanair flight was two hours delayed. Our train from Dublin to Sligo took three hours. In Scotland it had taken an hour and a half. And also it was delayed by half an hour. So we got here, I think it was about half past ten in the end. But yes, uh, I am wearing a, a novelty Motherwell shirt today just because we're in Europe. I wouldn't have done it if we were playing Inverness in the Premier Sports Cup, but today, look at this breakfast. There we go, superb. I'm looking forward to this, absolutely starving. Come on, 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 Right, so we've been joined by the Sligo Rovers representative. <laughs> Paddy, how's it going, mate? Not too bad, Gossy, how are you? I'm um, fantastic, looking forward to the game. What's it, what's going to happen tonight? It's really hard to tell because you have Sligo Rovers there with everything to lose and everything to protect, while you have nothing to lose. You have a game to go out and win. And for Sligo Rovers, advancing the next round of the Conference League is big money because they are a community owned club and do rely on fundraisers and fans. So I think the players, I think, will give it everything. They'll play with their heart. Like, I said both sides will leave the heart on their sleeve. Um, but it's really hard to tell because as we, I didn't expect Sligo Rovers to go to Motherwell. I don't yeah. think anybody in Sligo expected Sligo to go to Sligo Rovers and get a result. But I think the danger man, Aidan Tina, would be the one to watch out for. And Nando, a uh, centre back who was on international duty with uh, New Zealand there for the World Cup qualifiers. They'd be kind of our two main man and Niall Moorhead, number eight, is another player to watch out for. Okay. And Luke McNicholas, our keeper. So if those guys don't turn up with the rest of the team, it could, could be a tough one. Um, I reckon extra time and penalties again. Oh, no. I think it'll be too close to call. But um, as I said, fans coming out. I don't think Saigo doesn't know what hit it. But all these Motherwell fans, it's mad. Are you enjoying it? I'm loving it. Um, I always have a great relationship with Motherwell fans. I always had fans, friends who are Motherwell fans. So I am a Celtic fan, but I'm from Sligo. And I'm from Donegal originally, but I'm a local support the yeah. local. But these are always top class wherever you go in numbers, and he's really, really showing that tonight. No hassle, but not of respect shown towards. You can just throw it to Sligo fans and say, I'm sitting here with you, and everybody yeah. is so welcome. So it's good to see this is what football's about is mixing in England and getting involved with different cultures. So we've got about an hour and a half till the game starts. We're still at the pub, we've been at the pub probably about five hours. It's been a great day so far. Here's hoping the mother will provide the result we are looking for. The pub to the ground.
And here we are, the showgrounds in Sligo. Right, so there's roughly about 45 minutes before kickoff. Of course, Sligo bring in a one goal advantage over here from last week. I'm hoping that we can go and actually take the game to them because we did absolutely nothing for the first 20 minutes or so. <laughs> but uh, of course, my prediction today, <laughs> prediction today, we'll go with a 2-0 win in extra time. We've got to be confident. I mean, there's massive stakes if we go through. If it's a massive if, but here's hoping. I'm on the well.
Hai da, spi. Half time we're one 0 down. There's no way back for us. Viking Stavanger have beaten Sparta Prague. So it'd be an expensive trip to Norway and I've not booked anything. So I'm glad I've not booked anything. But honestly that, that free kick just knocked us. But apart from that, like I thought we'd actually been playing a bit of all right, but we've not actually challenged out their goal. But that's, that doesn't matter. Sligo have done what they needed to do. They've offered us a challenge we've not taken. We've not taken this challenge with the scruff of their neck. We're paying for it. Can't be arsed speaking. I really can't be arsed. Go again. Some more shit to come. Purposes. If any Sligo fan wants to comment in what's the matter, feel free to do so. Roughly about six o'clock at night. I am just in to Belfast Airport, and I've just found out that Graham Alexander has left Motherwell. I've already filmed the post match, so I'm going to have to refilm it. So I'll I'll, I'll do a, a, a redraft in a moment. But my life reaction, I'm, I can't believe it's actually happened because we'll talk about it later. Oh my god. I'm 
I'm, just, I'm flabbergasted. Like, it's the eve of the new season, and he's actually gone. Right, so I'm trying to be as diplomatic as possible. Right, Graham Alexander has left the building. Thankfully. You know, I tried my best to stick by him through thick and thin. Even through that four-month spell, I still had belief that we could actually go and cinch Europe. But we did. And, um, you know, I thought, right, I'll, I'll give him the whole of the summer to see if he can work some sort of magic in the transfer window. And that was evidently clear that never happened. Uh, you know, I, I want to just say, fair play to Sligo. Like, the, the locals were very welcoming. They were very nice to speak to. And I, I think I've made some really good friends over there. And, uh, yeah, it was just over a few drinks. I mean, that's that's how football should be. It shouldn't be all this constant toxicity online uh, that uh, Motherwell has come to uh, be become a normality. I mean, there's so much toxicity at the moment around the club. And I would say it's mainly down to the style of play, the, the manager... Uh, not so, not not really picking a team until April last year that was actually a regular starting team. It's not too late. It's still salvageable. However, the last two weeks has been embarrassing. Like, really embarrassing. I mean, nothing to take away from Sligo. They deserved it over the two legs. They were the better team. But, f I mean, I don't mind losing. F fair enough if we lose in a one-off tie, but... To get beat comfortably over two legs was an absolute shambles. Under Stuart McCall, we got knocked out of the cup by Albion Rovers. That was fucking nirvana compared to the shit we've had to put up with this year. I was wanting to have this video up by Friday. And then on Saturday, I would have my league predictions. But now I'm having to alter my league predictions because uh, I did so much prep for that. And then we go and... Uh, part ways with our manager but um, that, that'll that be up tomorrow and then Mother will play St Mirren tomorrow on Sunday I'm in two minds about the game I don't know what to think I mean I, I can't talk about the Sligo game because I just want that dead and buried like we we, we deserve we were lucky to get nil let's just put it that way uh, and Sligo Rovers I hope he's enjoying Norway uh, because for, I, for one, will be pining for the fjords. But anyway, uh, aye. It's going to be a long season. It'll take a while. We'll, we'll need to be patient with whoever comes in as the new manager. And uh, we'll just have to take it from there. And hopefully, 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 we don't have a disastrous season. But yeah, I, I, I am having vibes about 2014-15 when we had to play Rangers in the playoffs. Just saying. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching and thanks to all my new subscribers in Ireland. Uh, uh, I've, <laughs> I'd have loved to get the opportunity to show my videos in Norway as well, but oh well, shit happens. Uh, move on. And I mean, there's always every 10, 20, maybe 50 years when we next qualify for Europe. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you later. Take care.